stick. Stick shit. have prices on these cars by the way Pete. Nice little that's a clutch. I ain't messing with my new stick shit. Mustang. Skip over that Lexus. They got a that's a nice 392 right there scat pack. It's a, a 2017 26,000 miles. They do not have a price on it. That's nice though. I ain't gonna lie that's nice. Very nice. And they got the scat. This is a, a 2017 scat pack. 14,000 miles. No price on it. Stick, stick shit. They got, a, they got a GTR. I'm not a fan, and I, I love Nissan. By the way, like Altimus, that's like my favorite everyday daily driver car, man. I, I don't really. I mean, GTRs, they hard. I respect what it is. I respect the horsepower and stuff. But I do not like the styling of GTRs, man. I don't know why. Like it just looked for the price is too basic like i think new ones are like 150,000 or something like that 200,000 and like just for like the in, the interior how it looks it just looked kind of basic to me i think they could do a better job on like a redesign pretty much but yeah y'all that's all they have up there man pretty much uh just checking out checking out the lot that's all well, they got a uh they got over here This is just a regular, regular RT. Let it, let it out on the inside. 2016 RT Plus. 60, that's a lot of miles. 61,000. That's all they got pretty much, y'all. What's going on, y'all? Like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers, y'all. Hit the notification bell, too. Uh, this video pretty much gonna be about... Um, I don't know, like the, the bank process when you're getting loaned, the bank process slash the um, slash the dealership process. So the bank, the dealership, and credit process. All right, very important video. Like I said, please like, comment, share, subscribe, y'all. We got this good information. Okay. When you first get a car, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all my story. So this, it's kind of gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna give y'all my story at the same time with the information. Now me, my whole life, right, always bought cars in cash. I never messed with a loan company, right, until three years ago when I got my 2016 SXT Challenger. I got the car in 2016, it was a SXT, it had like 10,000 miles on it. So it was pretty much new used. I got it at a dealership that was an actual Hyundai, Hyundai dealership and it was a Chevrolet dealership, right? So at the time, this was a 2016, I had $7,000, right? Now what I was gonna do with that 7,000 is I was going to buy a car just out cash the way I've been doing my whole life. And then just, you know, like, I think I was looking at like a, um, a Sonata, it was like a 2013, 2014 with like 70,000 miles or something like that, 80,000 miles or something like that for like uh, $7,000 or something like that or eight or something like that. But that's what I was going to get. So. What happened was I was actually in that process that whole year of trying to finance for the first time because like Nissan, I always liked Nissan Altimus, right? That's what I had wanted to get. So a Nissan dealership, believe it or not, sent me just randomly in the mail. I guess my credit got to a certain point and um, they had me come in. I went in there with the letter they sent in the mail. They checked my credit on Friday. And it was like, oh yeah, it was like a V6. It had like close to 300 horsepower real nice it was like a, this was in 2016 by the way it was probably like a 2014 or something like that 2015 or whatever and i was gonna put down that money i had on it or, or whatever right now when monday came it was like oh you um because i i used to i just now like within the last year year and a half start knowing how to pay credit cards and stuff so i used to pay them and not pay them so my credit would go up and up and down so by the time I came into the Monday, they said, oh, it was a drop in your credit score or something like that, and they couldn't sell me the car because I had put on a uh, deposit and everything for that Monday, and that didn't work at the Nissan dealership. So that I was already turned off by that. Now, with, 
within like the next two months or whatever right? i'm like whatever so i'm saving more money and then like i was discouraged from the loan thing so like i saw like i was telling you i had seven thousand i was gonna go buy that uh i think it was a hyundai i think a sonata or something like that i don't know if i'm saying that right or whatever but uh my boy was telling me like about the dealership i just told you about that it's called a uh, global auto mall here in new jersey <clears throat> and they specialize in um I don't know, like Chevrolet and Hondas, Hyundai's, that's their thing, but they have like a good used car part of the lot too. And what happened with them, I just went in there, and let me tell you a funny story what happened too, where I got fed up. I had had a, um, I forgot what year it was, like a 2011 or something, uh, Nissan Altima I had like over 130,000 miles or something like that. Anyway, for some reason the car cut off and I had had this girl I was cool with we weren't really dating, but we we, we was we, we was cool. And I remember my car cut off on the side of the road, and I had to play it off. And I had to, like, walk her to the house. She was like, what's wrong? This is all we stopped here. I was like, no, it's just a nice day to walk. Like, <laughs> this and that. So I played it off very well, fellas. Always use that. Always use your mind. You know what I mean? We trying to impress. Anyway, but uh, no, that was, I was like, that was like my breaking point. I said, man, and I was kind of thinking, like, stop buying, like, used cars just to get something new. So I had the warranties and stuff like that. So anyway, fast forward to what I'm talking about now. Um they didn't take that Nissan I was gonna trade in because it was for I bought that car in New York from this guy and it was like a whole bunch of accidents on it and stuff and it was like it was uh something with the title or something like that so I had to just junk that car and get a couple like I think I got like a thousand for it or something but I had only paid like four thousand for it so that was just to get me around anyway so getting back to the story like I said about this dealership I'm going to so when I went to the dealership they put me in I was looking at they had I think an autumn on a lot I was looking at but before that, I, I was kind of always seeing Chargers and Challengers. I said, man, either Charger or the Challenger. I, I kind of liked the look because they had, I think in 2015, they had redid the um, the design or whatever, right? And they had redid the design on the inside. I said, oh, I really like them now. But I ain't really know about, forget that noise, y'all. I, I didn't really know about, like, the horsepower and stuff like that. So I just liked the, the base model. I just liked the look. So they had, I think, a, one Challenger on a lot, 2016. The one, it was all white with a 20, uh, 10K miles on it. Or it it, 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 it uh, might have been less. So what I did was, they, they, and they, and they had a Camaro, I think. And the Camaro, it was white too, real nice, same amount of miles. It was just too tight, too small. Beautiful car, but too tight, too small. I think it was like a 2016 as well. But anyway, like I said, this is year 2016, like almost near christmas or whatever so they had the 2016 challenger that i was telling y'all about with less than 10k miles i think the price on it was like uh 23 or 24 or something like that thousand so that 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 wasn't bad like i said the car basically knew 10k miles so i had looked up you know i'm good at like kelly blue book and stuff that was pretty much like right on point so i had went in whatever went to the dealership i went to the dealership early it's this uh this this uh Spanish cat, real kind of kind of young cat, probably in like his thirties or something like that. Real cool, cause you know I'm feeling iffy. You know, this is my first time in life ever going for a a, a, um, a, a finance thing. So it took like all day. I don't know. That's just what dealerships do. It took all day. And um, uh, let me see where I'm at. Um, I had that seven thousand down. So um, the 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 companies that they um. Let me break it break it to this. If you don't have no credit established and you young, even if you're older, you don't have no credit established, you either got to have a co-signer, which, which, which is cool. It's not wrong with that. If your mom or grandma or somebody, when your friend, somebody got good credit, that's what they're going to ask you for. If you've never done no finance before and you ain't really established credit, if your credit bad or not that good, they, they go ask the same thing, co-signer. So to, to opt out a co-signer, if you don't have that, the only thing you could do was really have cash that's all you could do is have like a lot of cash so i had 7k to put down that probably was a lot and i probably like, like dang at the time but i was like yo whatever i wanted my down payment low as possible so uh what what they did uh was with the seven thousand um they offered that to a couple of banks and, and and the banks i don't know this is new jersey but when you go for a dodge every time i went for a dodge it's three banks they really call it's I don't know how to pronounce it, Alley or something like this. A L L Y. I think that's a bank. They go do uh, Capital One, which is the credit card company. They they got a bank, and they go to do Chrysler Capital, which is Dodge like main thing. So what they gave me the best deal through was uh, with Chrysler Capital, and I think this is another uh, bit of information here. I think it's good to go with 
Chrysler Capital if you can. The reason why I say that because you go to Dodge official website, Dodge.com, where you can build the cars and everything, right? They go through Chrysler Capital. You will see it right in, in small print. Say, oh, for finance and options, they, they'll connect you right on their site, take you right to Chrysler Capital. And I've been with Chrysler Capital, even with this 2020 scat pack that I have now that I just got about four months ago. I'm still with Chrysler Capital. So that's who they put me with. So anyway, they gave me a good deal. It was like 400 and some change a month. Remember, this is my first time finding, I put 7K down. I think what they financed me for after, you know, the, the tax the car went up and I took it back. And I think I, had, I was financed, I think 19,000 or something like that, which, 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 which wasn't that bad. It was a 72 month deal or something like that, uh, that, that I had had. And um, another thing you could do too, always remember you could refinance. When I was with them, I, I, I stayed with Dodge because Tall Guy Car Reviews, I had just started watching that, started getting into engines and stuff like that. So while I had this car over these three years, I'm starting to look. I said, man, I want like an RT. And I was like, RT, uh, then I went for the scat pack. That's what I have now uh, uh, today. But I stayed with Chrysler Capital because I figured if they were the main source, the main bank or whatever, through Dodge, I figured like, it's better to build a connection with them. So I, I could have been refinanced over the years and took that 400 and some change payment to like 200 and something dollars or 300 and something dollars with a way lower interest rate, like 5% or something like that, if I had wanted to. But I stayed with them because I figured like, okay, when I go to the next car, which is going to be a Dodge, it'd be easier for them to, to, to see that. So that's who I've always been with. So that's another key. You might want to go with Chrysler Capital because I'm thinking when you build a relationship with that bank and you, as long as you pay your stuff on time, never miss a payment, that's going to sound, I mean, that's going to be good in general for your for your uh, credit score and everything else and for other creditors to look at. But if you're dealing with Dodge, I, I believe it's better and you get better deals or they go be more lenient uh, because you're dealing with Chrysler Capital. So that's the, the two things, y'all. So cash is king. And, and, and I know another thing I'm, I'm going to talk about and another video is a credit union. Everybody talking about credit unions. I understand it's a better thing. I'm, I'm going to get into that. I understand that. But this is for people that's new and in, in, into the game. So, yeah, that's the, that's the two biggest points from that story I told is if you don't ha have no credit or bad credit, you're going to have to put down a big down payment. If a car is like twenty dollars to $25,000, they probably going to want a, a down payment of at least maybe like two to $3,000 at least. If it's in that twenty to twenty-five thousand dollar for the, the the car price, that's probably what they're gonna want. If you don't have, if you have no credit or 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 bad credit, so it's probably gonna be like you gonna have to put down like two, three thousand plus. So maybe it could. They might ask for four or five thousand. So I probably could have put down four or five. Would have been five. I put down seven because I wanted my payments low, and that's what I wanted to do. So that and if you dealing with Dodge Chrysler Capital, there, like I said, you go to Dodge website. You click on they finance options, it's gonna take you straight to Chrysler Capital. So it's it's good, I think, to build a relationship. So anyway, fast forward over them three years or whatever, I'm looking at Tall Guy Car Reviews came out and, that, and shout out to them, man. Them guys, man, so successful, man. I think they kind of started the Dodge trend, man, with the with the with the Hellcats and the just just Dodge in general, like bringing it to you know you, you know to us, man. Like they ain't they ain't like analytical, they ain't all that. You know, a lot of people do Dodge they real proper and they giving you like what's under the hood and stuff like that. Which which is cool. I respect them videos, but they give it to you know from our you, you know how we are y'all. We we cool with it, you know. Uh, so shout out to them, man. I still watch their videos. They doing their thing, man. But uh, f fast forward to today with this car. W what I believe how I was able to get this car is that I was loyal to Chrysler Capital. Always paid my uh, payments on time, right? And I got my credit up. My credit went up since that time about a hundred points. It could have been higher than that, but at the time I still was paying like back in 2016 2017, i still was sometimes paying uh my credit cards on time sometimes i wasn't i was going you know i, I ain't really care I, I just started to take credit real serious like about nine or ten months ago so my credit before i got this car i i, I went to this company called sky blue credit you really don't have to do that you can do it yourself but it was just for dispute letters to get some inquiries off and that's what i did to all all three credit bureaus and i started to pay 30% or less on all my credit cards and I max them out paying back on time try to keep it at zero balance and I got a, another video that I'm gonna do that's talking about credit and everything y'all so that's what I got to say about that and with this car I put down 4k cash my payments seven and some change I know that seemed like a lot but that's kind of like the average of what these these cars are so really 
Um, I, I mean, I could I could finance right now if I wanted to. I could finance. I mean, refinance right now if I wanted to and take that payment down to like five and some change and like lower my interest rate. I could do that right now if I wanted to. So that seven really that I'm seven and some change I'm paying, it could be five or some change. But like I said, I'm trying to stay loyal to Chrysler Capital because I feel like I want a Hellcat next in the next six to 12 months. So I feel like if I pay them on time and keep working on my credit, keep finding out secrets from YouTube and stuff like that and researching credit and then save up some money, I'll be good, y'all. So that's pretty much this video was about, y'all. So take take all them points. And I know people got different ways they did it and stuff like that. That's the way I did it. And this, 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 this is for people that credit uh, uh, starting off a, a credit score to have, I would say too. Uh, I mean, basically, mo mo most people with credit that pay they stuff somewhat on time. You got late fees, stuff like that. You, your credit probably like in the fives, like five twenty five to five seventy five. That's you know that's that's like considered low. When you get to the the, the other tier, I would say like mid sixes, low sixes, or something like that. That's like the the, the next tier or whatever when it comes to credit. But uh. Like that, that's what I would say. But like I said, I got a credit video coming next. That's probably my next video. And I'm also, I got, probably have a, a POV video for y'all tomorrow because I got to go take care of something with the car. And I got a, um, a big mod coming at the beginning of the next week, y'all. So thank you so much. I know I be talking a lot. I'm trying to get that information. Like, and this page will get better. I will get better at edits. I will do fun stuff that's coming. But I feel like this information is important also for the people trying to get the car, y'all. So. Um, yeah, what else I gotta say? Yeah, yeah, this car, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 let me see, what else I gotta say? Yeah, with this car, I mean, you go through, what I pay for this car, and the process with this car, I got other videos on that you could go to, and it, it, I tell you what I did, you know, for this car, what I put down, and all that, you know, all that information in other videos, so y'all appreciate y'all, all my subscribers, I'm gonna keep saying it again. One of my friends told me, you say that so much, like, comment, share, subscribe. You ain't got to say that. Yes, I do, because I need people to subscribe, baby. I want to do giveaways. I want uh, more uh, people to get this knowledge, get this information. I want to share with the other my other Dodge Mopar people out there, man. So keep the grind going. Don't stop, y'all. Uh, love life. Enjoy life. Don't quit, y'all. Appreciate, appreciate, excuse me, my lip, excuse me. Appreciate y'all. Peace out, people. Get it, boy. Get it, boy.